Investigators in Noble County are trying to figure out what started a fatal fire overnight. News Channel 15 has confirmed a man died since telling you about what happened this morning on First News. Drew Blair spent the day finding out more, and she's in Studio 15 with what she learned. We return to the scene of this fire for the second time this morning during firefighters' ninth hour. The long day started around 3.30 this morning. It's going to be hard to pinpoint what exactly started it or how it started. A smoking pile of debris, all that seen from this rural road. It's where a passerby first knew to call 911. Normally, when we have a fire on these kind of roads, it's usually a newspaper carrier that actually reports them in, which is what I think happened here. A villa's fire chief spotted flames three miles away. When his crews first got to the scene, a locked fence blocked the battle they faced. Ammunition fired from the home as crews unlocked the gate. Flames ignited it and a propane tank. Ammunition can go off throughout the whole event. I mean, we can even have ammunition go off now. It just, you just use caution and wait for it to dissipate, and then you go in and do your thing. It took two hours to get the fire under control. All we basically did was just surround the house and drown it. There was no way of actually going in and putting the fire out due to um, failure of the floors collapsing and stuff like that. Firefighters couldn't get in to get a person out. They say a man lived in the farmhouse alone. You can't tell there was a house there, basically. It's just rubble, um, or, and then there's also quite a bit of the houses in the basement. The basement's full of water due to all the water we use. We probably pump. Uh, about 40,000 gallons of water into the structure throughout the night. So, you know, it's basically all the way up to the level of the basement full of water. It looks like a swimming pool. I got off the phone with a Noble County coroner moments ago. She said her office is presuming the victim to be 63 year old John Prinka, who lived at the home, but they really need to hear from any family members that might be available. So, anyone with any information about his next of kin is asked to call the Noble County Sheriff's Department. In Studio 15, Drew Blair, News Channel 15.